Hey, do you ever get yourself worked up in a tiz? You know what I mean, right? Like your mind is going 100 miles an hour and you have a to-do list that's as long as your leg and your brain is overworking and you're overthinking everything and you've got to get places and you don't have enough time to do it. And there is this sense of being overwhelmed like this wave is crashing over you. You ever feel like that? Right there? There are days, right? There are days when life just seems like it's too much. There's so much going on and so much that has to be done in such a short time that, well, it can be overwhelming and it can get the best of us if we let it. And it's easy to let life get to us, right? I mean, people have expectations of us, our jobs, our families, our friends, our community, our church. There are all of these commitments that we need to, well, we need to handle. And if we don't do it in a certain time, then we feel like we've let them down. And ultimately, we feel like, well, well, like we're a failure. And it's easy to let that happen if we don't turn back to God, right? Jesus said this, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give as the world gives, right? Uh, the peace that I give you is beyond the peace that you can find in this earth, right? And our world teaches us, well, listen, here's ways that you can find peace. And there's many different ways, right? You can read a book, you can go to the shore, you can uh, watch TV, you can watch a movie, you can, and, and Jesus says this, come to me, come to me, and I will give you peace. And I give you a peace that is deep and meaningful, and it will center you, and you will feel whole again. And the peace I give is unlike anything that the world gives. Because you see, the world gives peace and it lasts for a moment. And then we're right back in the rat race again. But with Jesus, when we commit ourselves to him, to chasing after him, to loving him, and then taking all of the things that he is and all of the teachings that he gave us and implementing them into our lives, well, then we start to emulate what Jesus was here on earth. And we start to feel, well, we feel different because it's not all about us. We have learned to trust in Jesus and the peace that only he can give. And when we do that, when we give over our cares and our worries and our lives to Jesus, this peace that washes over us, well, it's never, it's never ending. It's something like we've never felt before. May we turn ourselves back to Jesus and feel his peace, which goes beyond human understanding. May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us until we get to meet again. Amen. Amen.